In our test review, this is part two and video two. We've already done a 14 minute video covering the first half of the test. This is now the second half. The next set of questions we're going to go through are fractions of an amount. And I said on the test paper, make sure you use boxes. Firstly, question one, a quarter of 20. Use boxes. Let's draw a box to represent 20. And what we're going to do is we want to uh, have it in quarters. So this whole box here represents 20. And we're going to divide it into four equal parts. One, two, three, four. Now the question is, what goes in each box? Well, what number goes in each box so that if you add it up um, the same number four times you get 20? Well, the number must be five. Now once you've done a box, these two answers are simple. Because for question one, one quarter, one of the four, must be equal to five. And for question two, three quarters of 20, well, we want one, two, three boxes here. So we could colour in three boxes. And the answer must be five, 10, 15. So simple when you draw boxes. Let's do question three and four. One fifth of 30. Let's draw a box to represent 30. This whole box here represents 30. And we want to work out one fifth and three fifths. So let's split them into fives. One, two, three, four, five. What number must go in each box? Well, you could guess, or you could do 30 divided by five. But if you guessed, if you guessed that maybe five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, no good. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, yes. So in each box must go six. So if we want one uh, fifth of 30, we want one of those boxes. And the answer clearly will be six. And if we want three fifths, we're going to colour in three out of those five boxes. And we're going to get ourselves 18. The last one here. And the last one, we want five sixths of 36 in one go. So let's draw out 36. Let's box represent 36. Let's split into sixes. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Think about what must go in each box. You can guess by trial and error, but maybe 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, no good. 6, 12, 18, uh, 24, 30, 36. It must be 6 again, like above. And if you want 5, 6, you want 5 out of those 6 boxes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You colour in 5 of the boxes, and the answer must be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. And we've done those five questions. OK, the next set of questions were on ratio. And again, I asked you to use boxes. For question one, share £20 in the ratio 2 to 3. So let's draw a box. And this box represents £20. The whole box represents 20 Now, we want to share it in the ratio 2 to 3. So in total, we have five parts. So we're going to split the box into fives. One, two three, four, five. Now what must go in each box? Well, 20 shared in five parts is four, or you could get it by trial and error. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Now, you want to share it in the ratio two to three. So two of them would be these two, and three of them would be the other three. So if you must share, the, share 20 in the ratio two to three, how would you share it? Well, it would be eight pounds to 12 pounds and you're done okay next question share 40 pounds in the ratio one to three another box to represent 40 pounds whole box represents 40 you want to share it in the ratio one part to three parts so in total you've got four parts what must go in each box well think about what number added together four times gives you 40 10 does and you want to share it in the ratio one part, so you colour one box, to three parts, so you colour the other three boxes. And so the answer is going to be 10 to 30. So 10 pounds to 30 pounds. And the last one, share 100 pounds in the ratio of four to six. Another box here to represent 100 pounds. 
You want to divide it into 10 parts because 4 and 6 in total 10. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What must go in each box? Well, if you think about it, it must be 10 because 10 multiplied by 10 is 100. And you want to split it in the ratio of 4 parts to 6 parts. So it's going to be 40 pounds to 60 pounds. And we're done there. Now question four, on the, on the actual paper I wrote different. Some money is shared between Billy, Bill and Kelly in the ratio of five to three. Bill gets 20 uh, pounds, how much does Kelly get? So you know some money is shared in the ratio of five to three. And you know Bill gets five parts, so a bit more than Kelly. So this must be Bill. And this must be Kelly. Now, Bill's section is worth five parts. So one, two, three, four, five. And Kelly's section is worth three parts. So one, two, three. Now, you know that Bill gets 20 pounds. So all of his stuff is worth 20. So therefore, this enables you to think what goes in each box. 20 shared out amongst five would be four. So four must therefore be in each box, including Kelly's side. So therefore, um, Bill, as we thought, gets 20, we're told. But how much does Kelly get? Well, she gets 4, 8, and 12 pounds. So the answer is actually 12 pounds. The next set of questions were simple arithmetic revision. Uh, arithmetic revision, sorry. So we're doing some simple adding and subtracting. So, remember, just before we start, um, everything needs to be lined up. This is the units column, the tens column, the hundreds column, and the thousands column. Similarly here, the units, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. Similarly here, the units, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. Now, we're adding these together. So, 8 at 6 is 14. So, it's 110 and 4 units. So, you put the units down. You know it's 4 units, and it's also... An additional 10. So you put an additional 10 in the 10 column. Now 1 at 2 is 3, at 3 is 6. So we have 6 tens or 60. So we write 6 here. 100 plus 400 is 500. So we write 5 here. And 1000 plus another 1000 is 2000. And we've got our answer. Let's have a go at question 2. 2 units plus 3 units is 5 units. 110 plus 3 tens, uh, well, 110 plus 3 tens is 4 tens or 40. 600s plus 900s. 600 plus 900 is 1,400. Sorry, 1,500. So, how many hundreds have we got? We've got 500s and we've got an extra thousand, which we put in the thousand column. And 1 and 8, uh, 1,000 plus 8,000 is 9,000. The last one, a takeaway. <clears throat> With our algorithm here, well, to subtract 3, well, the way we do it, we say uh, we won't do that. What we'll do is we'll, we know that uh, we can borrow a 10 from here and make that 20 if we bring the 10 here so that we have a 10 and a 2, which is 12. Now, 12 take away 3 is 9. Two 10s take away 110 is 110. 900s take away 600s is 300s. And eight thousands take away no thousands, which we should write there is eight thousands, and we're done. To finish with, we had two very simple questions. Simplify the fraction four divided by twenty or four over twenty. Can you think of a number that divides into four and twenty? Okay. Can you think of a number um, that that goes into four and twenty? The biggest number you can. Well. Um, if you realise 4 goes into both, you could divide the top and the bottom by 4, and you would get 1 fifth. Some of you would like doing it in stages. Some of you might decide to yourself, well, I know 2 does, so I divide top and bottom by 2, and I'd get 2 over 10. But I'd need to think, does any number go into 2 and 10? Well, a 2 does again, and I'd get the 1 over 5 like I did originally. And list the first six prime numbers. You just need to know these. Um, you need to know that 1 is not a prime number, 2 is, 3 is, 4 isn't, 
because four, um, the factors of four are one, four, and two. So it's got three di different factors. Um, one isn't a prime number because it's only got one factor, one. The definition of a prime number is it has two distinct factors. Or, okay, so, um, and five would be, six wouldn't be because six is one, uh, one times six and two times three. So we've got one, two, three here. Um, the next one would be seven. Eight wouldn't be clearly. Uh, nine wouldn't be clearly. Ten wouldn't be clearly. But eleven would be. So one, two, three, four, five. Eleven would be. And also twelve wouldn't be. But thirteen would be. So you should know these. And they're useful in other arithmetic we do later. That's the end of the test now. Uh, make sure you've gone through that and understand each part. Thank you for watching.